Do you guys want to learn how to multiply your plants for free at home? This is the video for you, so stay tuned. People get into plants for all different kinds of reasons. And maybe you're wanting to propagate grandma's favorite rose bush so you can plant it at your house. Or maybe you just want to hoard house plants in your living room. Whatever the case might be, that's why I'm here. While some plants root very easily in water, such as an herb like thyme, common house plants like golden pothos, or another house plant like spider plant. There are many plants, however, that are not going to root so easily in water. Plants such as figs, sage, and rosemary. While you could possibly be successful in rooting these occasionally in water, it is not a very foolproof method of doing it, so I'd like to show you an easier way to do it. The things that you're going to need for this process is rooting hormone. Now I have both the powdered rooting hormone and the liquid rooting hormone. Now out of these two different options, I prefer the liquid rooting hormone. I've had great success using them. However, you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. You're also going to need a simple Ziploc bag and a roll of paper towels. And that's all you're gonna need for this process. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna be using fig cuttings because that's what I'm wanting to propagate. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put these into the lengths of cuttings that I want. If you're gonna be using the powdered rooting hormone, it's gonna be a straightforward process. You're just simply gonna put some of the powder into another container, or if you're like me, I just actually dip it into the container and go ahead and dip your cutting, and that's all there is to it. I always use Dip and Grow if you're gonna use a liquid rooting hormone. I've had amazing success with it. And as you can see, there's a concentrate level, which I have marked for you, and then a 5, 10, 15, and 20 time marker. And all you need to do is read the instructions on the back of the box. Uh, all, all the difference is, is whether you're taking hardwood, semi-hardwood, or softwood or succulent cuttings. And that's the only difference. So go ahead and fill that up. And since I'm using the liquid rooting hormone, I'm just gonna take it and dip my cuttings in there and set them to the side. Now that we have those cuttings dipped in our rooting hormone, we're just gonna take a paper towel. I'm just gonna be using one, you don't need a lot. And go ahead and pour water on that and then squeeze it out until it's just lightly moist. You don't want a whole lot of water in these things. You don't need much to get these things to start rooting. Now we're just gonna take our cuttings and place them in the paper towel like this. And if your plants have any leaves, which mine don't, they're dormant cuttings, but if you do have active growth on your plants, you're gonna wanna leave those leaves outside of the paper towel and then just fold the paper towel around it and then we're just gonna open this bag up, place our cuttings in the bag. And as you can see, these aren't falling over all the way. That's fine as long as those, the bottoms of those cuttings are wrapped in the paper towel, you're totally fine. Go ahead and close this up. I like to squeeze the air out of it. And just like that, you have your cuttings ready to root and the reason I like this method so much is that you can just look at the paper towel. You can see if mold's starting to form. You can see if the cuttings are starting to rot, if it's too wet. Um, you can also see if it's too dry. So you can really just monitor any cuttings that you're doing to make sure that everything is going smoothly. And now that we've got these cuttings ready to go, I wanna go ahead and take you inside and show you another cool thing about this method. You can place these cuttings anywhere in your house you want to, as long as it's warm enough for those roots to start forming. Just room temperature is fine. But look how much space you save by doing it this way. Look at all these cuttings in here. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is over 120 cuttings of just figs and magnolia trees and herbs. And I just literally take them and put them in here anywhere there's space. If you're doing something on this level, you wanna make sure that you obviously mark your bag so you know what is what, but look how much space you're saving. Your wife doesn't have to get onto you, your husband doesn't have to get onto you. It's just the greatest method ever. 
and you can monitor and you can see whenever the roots are forming in here and I just love this method guys I'm never going back to any other method it's it's so foolproof and yes occasionally you might have a cutting die but because you can monitor these so well you can tell when something's going wrong and fix the issue before it kills your cutting if you guys liked the content leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and share with any of your friends who are propagating plants and also check out our new ebook on how to grow figs in cold climates it's on our website at theamericanfigcompany.com thanks so much for watching guys